Okay, my setup is completed and now I can access my website. So in some situation you might have to wait for some time before everything is updated for your domain. Uh, I had to wait for like uh, 20 minutes and after 20 minutes it started working. So I see congratulations, congratulations your, you installed a discourse then i'm just gonna go ahead and register yeah i don't know what that is but let, let's just say this is going to be password at one two three okay let's see suggest me something chrome okay uh, accept it it sent me something Let's see. Okay, yeah, uh, we are trapping all the mail, so it's not gonna go. Okay, so I got this. I'm gonna go ahead and activate. Click here to activate the account. Okay. Okay. So you might want to set up everything, but in my situation, since it was just for the demonstration of how you can go ahead and build your discourse on Digital Ocean. I'm not going to bother about uh, the settings, so I'm just going to go ahead and skip everything and use defaults. And there you go. There is my discourse server. So as you can see, this doesn't require you a lot of technical knowledge. It just requires you some parts of, you know, information on what to do, where to do and how to do. And then you should be pretty much um, good to go. And moving forward, uh, you can watch the discourse uh, videos i think there are a lot of discourse videos in which they explain you how you can use discourse to manage admin stuff and all of those things you can go ahead and use those videos watch those videos and then uh, you should be able to you know grasp an idea this videos i just wanted to do, show you how you can install a forum feature or system or discourse in DigitalOcean how easy it is so again just to give you a rundown so you go to create you first use it the uh, link in the description if you don't have an account with DigitalOcean you create an account you get like hundred dollars to play around with you register or you log in you go to create you go to droplet you go ahead and uh, select marketplace you search for discourse you select this course, you choose the price, um, whatever you want. Then you choose the nearest location for your consumers. Uh, and then you say, if you are not a developer, I would recommend you to go with password. You create, you choose a password, give it a name if you want. It shouldn't have spaces or anything. Read this. And you can put into any group you like. You can enable the backup or not, and then you can create it. It will take some time. It will create the uh, the droplet. You go to networking. You can watch the plen there are plen plenty of videos which can show you how you can point your domain to DigitalOcean. It's called something like name servers. So look for that in YouTube or, or Google. You will find tons of documents there. Once you have that, you go to domains. You if you don't see a domain over here, then you just type your domain name like this and choose a group where you want this to be by default it might be just under the account name you click on add it will create an entry you will not see anything over here so you want to click on the domain then uh, you may you need to make sure a is selected there is no a over here and if, if there is a then that means it's pointing to some server so if that's okay just delete it if not then just keep it there otherwise your existing stuff which you have on the domain will not work you type at which just refers to your host name and then you select what server you created and then you create a record after some time the dns setup will kick in and you will be able to see your changes on the website so once you do that you need if you are on linux or a mac operating system you would do something like this you you say ssh root then add symbol and then the ip address of your server 
So if the IP address you will find uh, in the droplet section over here, you copy it, you put it there, you hit enter, it will ask you for the password. So the password you created, you put that over here and then you should be able to log in. And yep, okay. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> Don't know why it didn't work for the first time. Well, that's how you log in. And uh, since I have already completed my setup, uh, I am able to s directly log into the system. But if you're doing this for the first time, it will ask you for the email address, SMTP details, and um, uh, some username kind of stuff. So the um, rest of the stuff is self-explanatory, but the SMTP area is where you might get confused. So uh, the one in, I used in this video is uh, MailTrap, but that doesn't send emails. It just captures every email you send and show in one inbox, so you can use it for testing. And in your case, you're most likely going with Gmail, so you might wanna, um, have like a gmail smtp so you might search on google gmail smtp and it will show you how to create a, a um, or how to get smtp details so like this is the port you can use and uh, this is the smtp server you can use username as the email address and then you can use the email address password there are other ways uh, where which you can uh, generate a different password for your SMTP but I guess this is straightforward so again for the SMTP this is your server host name and this is your port and it says over here the username or the account name will be your full email address and the password will be your Gmail password so the details which I used instead of the, those details you would use your Gmail details and it should be able to send emails through your Gmail account so once you do that, it will take a couple of minutes. For me, it took like four minutes to set up Discord server. Once the setup was completed, I was able to land on the site. It sent me a confirmation email on my email address. And on uh, confirmation, I was able to, um, you can see, use the uh, website. So hope this was very helpful for you, uh, informative for you. If you have any questions, if you're having issues installing this thing, just drop a comment and we'll be sure to help you out if you have any ideas about something that you want to install and you don't have experience uh, building technical stuff or at least uh, dealing with technical stuff then you just let me know in the comment section and I'll be sure to create a video series or something like that to help you understand those areas and uh, you know you should be able to um, achieve what you want okay Thank you very much. Please like and subscribe. Bye.